This is a thing that I had wanted to look at for quite a while, and it's about time for me finally to do it. Here we go. Beautiful. It's majestic. Incredible. Plaques in process. Mediums. Oh, yes. You're getting in on the ground floor. You're able to watch this and see the game develop right from the very beginning. These walls are your walls as much as they are everyone else's. This is your world. And you can join and go into that teleporter and randomly go over to uh, uh, Christmas land. Beautiful. Wow. Any backers? A any backers for the game? Come on. This is this Final Fantasy? No, man. I think this is the uh, this is the new God of War. Yeah, I think it's the new God of War, guys. <laughs> it's lit. Any backers? Look at that. You can you can dig wherever you want. All the candy canes everywhere. This is uh, the Santa Claus raid. Except for he raids your wallet. Because you have to pay to get into it. He's walking on sunshine. He's walking right over the... You're Jesus. He can play as Jesus. He's going right over the water. Or is that ice? It's hard to say. John, yo, Josh Jeff Hayes just raided me. Yo, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Your videos are amazing. I love you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. What a game. I, you know, I bet... I wonder if they use this music in the original video. You know, just to like really get people pumped up to think that it's something crazy. Oh my god. Look how fast you can run in the game too. That's what's so crazy. The game can't even keep up with it. I mean, the game can't keep up with anything, but it especially can't keep up with that. Look at those bases, the, oh man, the marble walls. Jeez, this is such an expensive area. I should probably actually donate more money to the game. That way, uh, you know, they can afford to make more marble walls. This is, hold on. Yeah, you can only buy the game on a floppy disk. There's no CDs available for it yet. And you have to buy f five discs at a time. The problem is the third disc doesn't work. <laughs> so you can't go to the fourth and the fifth, you know? Wow. What an incredible game. Absolutely incredible. My favorite, and gentlemen, welcome. my favorite thing about the game is I think the frame rate. Because it's like, it's one thing for everything in the game to look like shit, but it plays like shit too. I'm Josh Drive Hayes, and this is the continued adventure of one of the greatest video game dramas of 2021, the saga of the Dreamworld MMO RPG. Mm -hmm. Now, many people will know if you've been following the continued adventures of Dreamworld, which this is has incredible. been chronicled by many YouTubers. In fact, I even compiled a complete list of everything we know. I feel like the end of the story is going to be the guy that's the leader gets arrested with like hookers in another country and internet historian makes a video about it two years from now. Like I really feel like this is going to be the gift that keeps on giving and we're going to get content out of this for so long. Up until now in the latest video you can go back and watch that if you need to but March 21st was given as the date when the alpha would release. Wait Yo, Esfan, thanks for the host, man. March Thank you, dude. March 21st is when all will be revealed. Thank you, dude. We were all promised that. And to be fair Thank you, to Dreamworld, they hit that date. They didn't delay, didn't ask for another week or another month yeah. or another year, although they probably Full should send. have done. They actually released an alpha to the Kickstarter backers on that date. Incredible. Unfortunately, Unfortunately. because of the way the alpha files were released yeah. and the way the pre-release keys were distributed to people yeah all of those files and all of those keys were then pretty much instantly shared around the youtube gaming sphere and one of those alpha files Oops. and one of those alpha keys found its way into the hands 
of the tenacious Callan Upton, who has joined up with YouTuber Skiazos, who has finally seen the light and gone over from being a Dreamworld supporter and joining our side to help unmask the scam. And now we can see what the actual Dreamworld Alpha really looks like. And no matter how bad you thought it was going to be, it's worse. Before we take a look, consider dropping a like on the video or oh subscribing to the channel for more MMO stuff. Ring the bells wow. to get all the latest notifications and a massive thank you it's to the worse. supporters on Patreon and Twitch who keep the channel going. So Why didn't they NDA it? Um, because, see, here's the thing. Upper class affluent people don't need to worry about making mistakes because they can afford to fail. They're lazy, they make mistakes constantly, they do things wrong, and they never have any accountability for it. Just get used to it, that's the way the world works. Many in fact, I'm going to have to find a way to reformat this list. More on how you can support at the end. For now, let's begin. Mm -hmm. A quick personal note before we really dive into this continued Dreamworld adventure. Uh -huh. A few days ago, YouTube user Gregory Lenzo, who went uh -oh. on to change his name to Takito Bandito, asked me in a comment why I was green screening a fake collection background behind what? me. What? He said that it was obvious the background was fake because it was out of focus, and whenever I moved my, oh my God. quoted, smarmy British head, you could tell it was green screened behind. Bro, this is the same fucking people that watch these videos. There is this one video of Joe Biden, and this one video of Joe Biden, and he was like walking up to a microphone, and like everybody in like the conspiracy sphere thought that shit was fucking fake. They thought it was in fake. And, and like, I don't even know. Oh man, I don't even know what to say. This is, it's the same people, man. Probably was. True. He's on the moon. I informed him this was in fact my bedroom. And he said, yes. no, you're lying. I don't quite know why I'd lie about having a green screen background, but I said, if I prove this was real, would you apologize? And he said he would, although I would be unable to prove it was real because it's very clearly fake. So, because I am incredibly petty oh and remarkably tenacious, you'll have to forgive and indulge me on this one. Okay. <laughs> but I just... <laughs> I just want to have that there for the rest of the video. Oh no! Oh no! I'll just move a few Dude, more around. isn't it crazy what they can do with green screens nowadays? That's nuts, man. I, maybe he did this green screen with Unreal Engine 5. What the fuck, man? And I look forward to your, uh, your apology in the comments. Right. Back to Dreamwell. You may remember YouTuber Skiazos, the this. one who interviewed Zach and Garrison yeah. on his channel and was a staunch advocate for the Dreamworld game yep. from early development. Well, he has clearly watched the videos put out by Kira, uh -oh. Callum, and the Worst myself, alpha and game he ever. Has reconsidered his stance. God, and that on sucks, 20th, man. May 20th, he uploaded the video Dreamworld Worst Alpha Game Ever. Damn. In this video, he's actually talking to Callum Upton, and we get to marvel at the absolute wow. state of the dream world alpha. The game is laggy. <laughs> Look at the chat. I still can't believe this is real. Oh my God. If I was gonna cyberpunk, it's yeah, it's about the same, right? But like still, uh, people expected more out of this game, okay? Is this a dream engine? Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, it's a, it's a dream because it's not real is untextured. It's first person only. The city is literally made up of white cubes. The jumping animation yeah, yeah. clips the character model through the camera. Of the course. lighting is both sourceless and inconsistent. The shadows yeah. are non-existent. The collision detection just doesn't detect collisions. Ah, Almost you know. nothing has any what actual physical presence in the world. This honestly looks like an alpha of an alpha. This looks like a first year game. This is like the screenshots of World of Warcraft in 1999. Yeah, this is like, yeah, this is what WoW looked like in 1999. And, oh yeah, it was, and, and even that probably looked fucking better than this. 
development student got drunk one night and saw what they could do with the Unreal Engine and all of the default stuff it comes with. Mm -hmm. Oh, and remember the Pirate Cove fly-through that was featured so heavily in the oh, trailer? Oh, yeah, the that, that was badass. Was just an unchanged default store-bought location? Yeah. That's not even in the alpha. They have literally used trailer footage of assets they have bought but not included in the game. It's very important to realize that as humans, oh changing your God. opinion based on newly presented evidence is a hard thing to do. It's very easy to trick someone. Oh, it's so sad. Like, whenever... Dude, this is one of the most depressing things to hear. Is whenever people say that it's good that somebody sticks to their guns. You get proven wrong and you still believe what you thought was wrong, what you know is wrong, because you don't want to admit that you were wrong. And there are convictions, man. Like, you don't fucking let facts get in the way of your truth. Very hard to convince someone they've been tricked. And people yeah. do not like changing their opinion. I there do is not. The anchor fallacy, where the first thing you see, yeah. you assume is the logical, correct thing all the time. Yes. The fact that Skiazos is willing to step back, analyze his position, and say, mm -hmm. I was wrong, Impressive. is something that is to be commended true. and respected. So true we and definitely real. appreciate the fact that he's been able to do that. So Real he's and not true. just a mindless follower. With that said, it's hard, it's hard let's sit to back be a mindless and watch follower. some of the fantastic gameplay that Skiazos gives us for the Alpha. Okay, let's see the gameplay. I have been living in a dream world for the past four months. And I have finally woken up to reality. Everyone was expecting to see. You ready to see what we actually got to see? Oh my god. This. Wait, what were they expecting to see? You ready to see what we actually- So that was what they were supposed to see. Okay. Actually got to see? This. Okay. Okay, yeah, so it's like Tinder. Yeah, alright. Um, it makes sense. <laughs> and that's the thing, is like, how is it that you can see- Like, if this was the alpha? Woke up to reality. Everyone was If this one was the alpha, I would still be like, it sucks. Expecting to see. You ready to see what we actually got to see? Uh huh. This. I'm gonna turn it this up a bit. This is what we actually. This is four months of work. Four months wow. of work. These little squares down on the bottom and over here, these are the building plots that you can build on if you're assigned to that specific location. We're not exactly sure what these white blocks are. They could be building plot areas. Or they could just be freaking white blocks for placeholders for buildings that they wanted to put in but didn't have time. I'm sure the white blocks are for like where they're gonna put the good stuff. You know what I mean? Like they're saving they're saving the good stuff for where those white blocks are gonna be. And, and like the stuff in the blocks is gonna be oh, it's gonna be good. I'll be right back. So my mom was watching the stream, and you know what she said to me? She said, King's Quest. The game is so shitty that it reminded her of a shitty game that we played 25 years ago. You know that, that fucking old game that played on Windows 95? Yeah, yeah, My except for King's Quest was better. <laughs> they knew they couldn't make these designs, so they just had fucking pre-rendered backgrounds that you just moved a character around on. Time to put it in. This game is gonna be a scam. And there are yeah. gonna be legal actions against them. There's no other he's way that this his money back, is man. possibly anything but. Skiazos was brave enough to release this video titled yep. Dreamworld Scam, I Have Come to Reality. In it, Damn. he explains how he was taken in by the promises and now he has seen the unfortunate alpha. At 8 yep. minutes and 30 seconds in this video, we see him try to explore the distant lands, which are not procedurally generated by each user. You can see the city is even less textured than before. In fact, the yeah, only buildings why. with texture are the store-bought pre-rendered buildings arranged around the central pantheon. So the only the good pantheon itself is placed in the middle of a massive blank So wall. the only good stuff that they've made is the stuff that they didn't make. Huh. White expanse, almost nice. like standing inside a ping pong ball. The reason he's not chatting to anyone else is yeah. because the game does not currently have a chat function. It cannot oh. display text player to player. 
This is not it takes a, while a game. To do that. This is a large open virtual expanse with some assets placed in it. Later that day, he also uploads Breaking Dream World Asset Overload. This is an upload of a live stream where Skiazos is talking to multiple people, including YouTuber Smilin Island. The purpose of this stream was to abuse the Dream World feature of inserting assets into the game. And wait, so they're fucking. They've gone rogue and they're trying to shut down the game by adding. Adding in peppers? They're gonna make so many peppers, they're gonna shut down the whole game. Two hours in, Skiazos places an absolutely massive wall of peppers. Oh my Those god. Those assets will, in theory, never ever unload. At 3 hours what? and 44 minutes in, we can see the pepper wall has grown so massive it now fills up the screen and dominates a substantial 3D space. The purpose of this is to highlight how abusable this system is. Oh my Anyone God. exploring Dreamworld as a new player will now essentially need to load oh in a my. massive amount of data when they discover the pepper asset bomb. On Ima <laughs> Imagine this is what you do, right? You load in and there's just two gigantic pepper dicks. It's like, you know, the golden arches of, like, Disneyland or, like, McDonald's. Instead of that, it's just two giant fucking pepper dicks. Welcome to Dream World. <laughs> Have fun. May 21st, the day of the alpha release, Callum Upton puts out another video, simply yeah. titled Dream World Alpha is Here. Uh -huh. In the video, he shows an extremely bland, shovelware looking game, and if you look at his inventory on the right hand side, you'll yeah. see he's found a way to underflow his resource cap and currently has minus 2,147,483,648 resources. The reason why that's the maximum number is that is the maximum integer that you can use in a 32-bit system, I believe. Because this is the same exact number that was the cap for health that mobs could have in Mr. Pandaria. If you're a developer or a RuneScape fan, you will recognize this number because it's the yes. largest number you can write with a 32-bit binary string. How True. did he glitch the game within five True. minutes of having it to absolutely max out all of his resources? Hacking. You'll have to go and watch Callum's video to find out. I don't want to spoil it. It's linked in the description. But here's a puzzling question. Okay. Skiazos had access to the alpha files because he was, up until recently, an ardent supporter Ooh. of this project. Ooh. How did... Callum Upton get access to the files? And a more pertinent question, is there tea in this mug? Of course there isn't. It'd be a nightmare to clean. That's actually true, yeah, it'd be really annoying. There's tea in the other mug. Yeah. Callum gained access to the alpha files sure. because distribution of the alpha files sure. wasn't done via any secure server. They were uploaded to Google Drive and then shared via public free file sharing sites. The link was then shared on public discords Wait. and anyone was able to download the alpha. It was discovered that logging oh into the alpha God. required use of a key or a long token. Yeah, of course. However, the tokens were not single use, nor were they tied to the computer that used them first, meaning as soon as you had access to a token and tokens were shared almost instantly, anyone was able to download and play the alpha files of Elysium. I'm sorry, Dreamworld. They still call it Elysium in the files. Now you'll notice I'm showing footage from Callum and Skiazos playthrough of this absolutely atrocious alpha. Oh I'm not God. showing any of my own gameplay footage and there's a simple reason for that. I absolutely do not trust the game executable or any files included. Yeah, the thing is like, what if the game is actually just Wait, 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 yo, wait. What if the game is intentionally bad to get everybody to download it and play it, but it's actually not a game? It's a Bitcoin mining application. It's a crypto miner. We've been fooled. Everybody thought it was a game. Oh my God in the what download. The While fuck, I have man. the same access to the download as everyone else, I don't trust anything about it. 
Callum yeah. and Skiazos are heroes and trailblazers for not only installing this mess of a game, but for playing it for several hours They're so martyrs. we can marvel at the awfulness. Skiazos has shown he's totally willing to change his mind based on presented evidence. Imagine that. And Callum wants to move into exposing Kickstarter scams full time on his channel, which is a noble aim. The foot See, that's like a, uh, that's what happens, man. Is like once somebody gets burned by this shit, they go on a crusade. It's a crusade at this point to find out every single one of these sons of bitches that are doing this and then make sure it never happens to anybody else. A burning crusade, yeah. Dish of the Alpha is beyond awful. This is unforgivably bad. This looks like a corrupted game. It looks yeah. like something broke. It's not just unfinished, it's hardly started. It's like if you what it reminds me of is like have you ever tried if you ever played a game and you download 10% of the game and then you load the game somehow and you try to play it like I did this with Dark Souls Cinders and like half of the NPCs weren't rendering in the ground wasn't there like that's basically what this is they've rendered in 10% of the game. And if you think I'm being harsh to this and saying, oh, it's only an alpha or an early release, Factorio was an early release when it was basically finished. So and Mortal was PUBG. Online 2 was an alpha and is super playable despite- yeah, Mortal Online 2 is playable. Like, if a game, here's a, here's a benchmark, right? A little bit of a litmus test here. If a game makes PUBG look good, it's a, it's a bad game. It's a bad game, period. It's a, uh, it's a, 2016 PUBG. If it makes 2016 PUBG look good, it's a bad game. Period. Done. Finished. That's it. Having flaws. This is not an alpha. This is a bunch of assets an ass. smashed ass. together and shoveled out. This game has no vision beyond trick people out of money. It has no systems good unique vision. to it. It has no games design passion behind it. This game yeah. was made by two people who have absolutely no love for the MMO genre or the MMO player base in any way. No. This is a scam. A pure, no. unadulterated, scam. sickening scam. The Pyramid Scheme Kickstarter, the distribution of the alpha file on file sharing sites, the lack of security on logging in, the fact the executable is still called Elysium, the incomplete nature of the game, the city of white cubes, the awful frame rate, the lack of anything they promised being in the game actually being in the game, the assets never unloading and causing data bombs, the systems not working, the hackable nature of the resource oh counters God. and the client, the fact the pirate bay doesn't even even appear. This is disgusting. Do you know what I think the biggest mistake they made was? See, it's like games nowadays are just so bad that is there even any combat in the game? Yeah, it's you beating yourself up after you realize that you wasted your money fucking backing it. That's the only combat. Look, I, it's just, it's just talk shit, man. Like at a certain point, it's just fucking dog shit. And you've got to You've got to admit what it is. Trying to scam the MMO RPG community. Yeah, wearable people paid Bluetooth for this. Tech, people paid no money cares. for this. Ten a penny. Everyone in Silicon Valley is trying to make wearable Bluetooth tech. Yeah. It's a drop in an ocean. It comes, it goes, no one cares. Not of course. A fashion brand like Baron, no one's going to remember that. No one's going to wear it. No one's going to miss it. It's going to come and go. Mm -hmm. But the MMO RPG landscape is a bit more tenacious. The Lazy Peon put out a video called The Absolute State of the MMORPG Genre. MMORPG players have been crying out for a new game. Please. People are desperate for- MMORPG players are asking, please stop fucking us in the ass. Please stop fucking us in the ass. Like, it's been going on for years now, and can we just take a break for like two years, like 18 months? Like, and people are fucking happy with New World. They're like, it's not going to be until 2022. That's 12, that's three months, four months with not getting fucked in the ass guaranteed. Four whole months of not getting fucked in the ass. Imagine that. Wow. And the cash shop. Something new to explore. And when this game came along and said, we will be everything you ever want and more, it did the one thing scams shouldn't do. Yeah. It got everyone's attention exactly everyone was looking at this see Everyone they should have NDA'd it like that's the smart thing to do 
is that you should NDA it because that way at least you have some kind of re uh, like legal recourse. And that's what I was saying before about isolating uh, isolating people that you're taking advantage of is you, you want to isolate the person so the person's not able to externalize their thoughts and realize that they're not crazy or stupid, you know, and, and they're being gaslit. Like it, it, that, that's the thing is as soon as people start talking, that's why like a lot of cults, for example, uh, they try to isolate members in the cult as well. Was scrutinizing it and MMORPG <laughs> players are some of the most dedicated, the most yes. pedantic gamers yes. in the world. They will data True. mine everything you put out. So you tried to scam a load of players who specialize in, in researching data. There's no way this is going to go well and for scams. you. Zach has a proven history of starting and then abandoning projects. And if Zach and Gavin... Well, he's not talking about... This is not my stream, okay? This is... He's talking about the guy that makes the game. His name is Zach. No, no, it, it, no it's a different... It's a different Zach, guys. It's a different... He's not talking about my stream. ...person had chosen any different. other Kickstarter scam, such as a board game or yeah. a single-player RPG, yeah. or a 3D model printing service. Interest would have come and gone, yeah. but they chose the MMO RPG. Because scams it's the biggest work, idea. and scammers get away with it when the interest dies down, when they get yep. in, get the money, and get out. And that is what they, they wanted escape. and were hoping would happen here, to fly under the radar and leave by daybreak. But Callum wanted to expose them. Mm -hmm. Kira wanted to expose them. Yep. MMO Byte refused to take money from them. Slope's Game Room wanted to expose them. I wanted to expose them. And you, dear viewer, wanted to see the scam exposed. Yep. The MMO RPG yep. community has its faults. There's no doubting that. But MMO players in general are detail focused. They research things to an unhealthy degree True. and often have a lot of free time. And now with Callum folk. Yeah, we're losers. Uh, and this is the thing, right? Is that if you put yourself up against a bunch of neckbeards, right? Like, I think the best example of this is um, they will not divide us. Or sorry, he will not divide us. Remember Shia LaBeouf's flag that he kept flying in different places in the world and 4chan kept triangulating it based off of weather patterns and taking it down? At a certain point, just give up. Just fucking give up. It's over. Focusing on exposing these scams weekly, Hopefully, we'll see far fewer of them. Yeah. As I said earlier, I am actually genuinely surprised they stuck to their March 21st date, and that does deserve a bit of respect. You can yep. look at the rest of the project and go, this is completely trash, but the fact they stuck to that date is impressive. That's true. How long would they have had to delay it to make something worthwhile, something playable, something that we've not <laughs> seen before? A week? A month? A year? I'd probably say about five or six years with a team of trained professionals. You know, <laughs> about the time it takes to create an MMORPG Just make a from game. scratch. The alpha was everything we wanted it yeah, to be. Yeah, make the entire it game. It was terrible. It was awful beyond expectation. You're an historian? It's an empty of course world he did. With broken systems and a hackable client, and by many metrics, isn't even a game. It's not even a tech demo, because you're no. not showing what you There's can no tech. do beyond what already exists. It's a exists. demo of how the tech it doesn't work. Here are some assets that I bought in a big virtual space. Enjoy. This isn't a game. This is rubbish. For now, all we can do is sit back and see if they improve it, which I don't think they will. We could see if we get in-game chat, or texture, or resources that can't just be altered client-side. What improvements will Dreamworld receive? Only time will tell. For now, we'll leave this white squared glitchy mess in the hands oh of the God. superstar ex-Google engineer and the nine-year game developer. Don't worry, I'm sure they know what they're doing. Oh, and Zach and Garrison, if you do make a playable alpha and you want someone to actually test it and give you genuine, honest feedback, let me play I'll it. do it. For yeah, free. let me play it on my Send stream. Send me a game. Please. Send me a key and I will honestly tell you what I think. Yes. I cannot promise I will not put it on the worst MMO ever series. As for today, thanks for watching, and thank you very much to Callum and Skazo yeah. for doing some absolutely Never know. fantastic research and keeping this subject going and keeping it in the public eye. Massive thank you to all the supporters on Patreon and oh Twitch for keeping the channel going. You can support a, this channel from only what one an adventure, a man. Check the video description what for a links fucking to Callum adventure. and Skiazo's channel, the Patreon, Twitch, Twitter, and our Discord, and as always, have a great day. Taquito Bandito has been real quiet since this dropped. Well, the thing is, like, he's got to figure out 
like he's probably doing research on green screens to figure out how actually he uh it, it's not true yeah that's probably what it is man gives you immediate access to thousands of assets to use what for free that? in your unreal engine projects wait we are constantly looking to enhance Yo, i just thought of this like we're gonna watch the dream world video soon right how is it why didn't they just make dream world in unreal they did wait they did why didn't wait what <laughs> <laughs> look at the difference it's like between drawing with like a fucking precision pen and like a five-year-old fucking grabbing a crayon like ur, 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 just fucking moving around man it's crazy